Hey guys, this is Vicki with Southern Crossword Creations. We are going to make a really inexpensive craft tonight with a Morton salt um, container. So what I did is I just peeled all of the paper off. Now you could paint this. I'll show you, like you could do the red or the blue, obviously. But I had this paper that I was going through and it looked like the bursting of fire of fireworks and it came out of the Christmas Hobby Lobby paper. So anyway, check your paper that you have, but you're gonna use the Mod Podge for paper. And then the easiest way, now I'm gonna do trim on the bottom in the top of mine, but if you weren't going to do trim, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to get this super straight. But what I like to do is just take my item and then just roll it as I'm marking it. And it just gives you, you're not gonna go from one end to the other, but it's gonna give you a really good baseline in the, the middle of your paper. So that way you're, you're gonna get somewhat pretty close to it. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna do is just make sure that you didn't get too far off or too long. And I did trim this one up just a tiny little bit at the very bottom. But all you're gonna do is just you're gonna apply your uh, Mod Podge paper over the entire um, container. Now these would be super cute if you made multiples of these and um, out of anything, they don't have to be the same container. You could get, you could use um, a coffee, you know, container. You could use whatever. Um, and these would be make you know, really good centerpieces for your upcoming 4th of July um, tables. And they're super easy. So I trimmed the bottom up right there. And then what I did is I just put a rubber band around it just to keep the paper because, you know, you're dealing with, you know, it, it's rolled basically. And so you just kind of have to get you something that's going to, and the rubber band works great for that, that's going to hold the paper. Okay, and then I'm gonna take and paint the top because obviously this isn't a really pretty, it's kind of a dingy, kind of creamy color, but um, I wanted it really white. And so we're gonna do snow white on the top of this. And it's fairly easy to paint because this is made out of cardboard. So it did take a couple coats though because it did wanna soak in on me. So I went ahead and painted it um, again right after this one. And again, you could use um, some of the containers. Now, if you have little ones, um, those little snack, the little puffs are great to make things out of. Um, Pringles cans would really make a really cute firecracker as well because they're tall and skinny. So you could do several of those um, for your centerpieces for your table. And there's just so many um, options. So what we're gonna do is take this Dollar Tree rope and we're gonna make a wick for our um, firecracker. Now, you can also do use the nautical rope as well, but I wasn't really crazy. I, I did eyeball that in my stash, but um, I didn't like the braided sticking out so much. And with that nautical rope, um, it really does. But this um, other rope right here is also called nautical. That's how they call it. but. Um, it's more of a twine to me, and this one just worked perfect for a fuse. And the great thing about this um, Morton salt container is that little um, spout there, it's a perfect place to have to glue everything, and it kind of gives your wick some stability as well. Okay, so I told you I wanted to do the trim around the bottom and the top. Now, you might be looking and going, why is she putting blue stars? You're going to see here in just a minute. It's going to tie all in together. I've got several of the things. You know, I always tell you it's all in the details. So I wanted to get some stars on there for our stars and stripes kind of thing. And so I went ahead and went around all the way around the bottom. Now, this ribbon came from Hobby Lobby um, in their patriotic section, and it fairly fairly reasonable in price and I use this um, fairly often for Memorial Day 4th of July I have even mixed this in when I'm doing just a regular so here's the other thing that has this the stars on it that I absolutely loved this was $2.99 now this stuff was not on clearance yet um, same thing with those pillows that I made they weren't but they probably are now um, I'm not quite sure but I feel like they're kind of late getting this 40% off of this stuff. 
especially since they have fall already out on the shelves, which I couldn't, har I could hardly believe. Okay, so what you're going to do is cut that, and then there's a little um, metal ring, and it did take me, I sped up the video, because it did take me a few minutes just to get that undone, but look at all the material that you have to work with, and so I'm going to use three, I'm going to start off with two, and then I decided to go ahead and put a third one on there, but I loved how this was, it stands up, it's got the um, wire in it, it's already pre-made, you don't have to um, try to, you know, make this out of ribbon or anything, and for the price, you do get a lot of material, so you can make several different projects with this. Okay, again, so what I did is I put me some hot glue, took my barbecue skewer, and just um, glued it to the side of that and that's why I love this little spout because it does give you something to glue um, your items to. Did one on the other side just the same. How cute is this coming out y'all? And so inexpensive. Like I said it just look at things a little bit differently, especially in containers. Now, I don't save a lot of my containers. I mean, I a lot of people make things out of cans, like, you know, green beans or corn or something like that. Um, I never have. It's not that I wouldn't. Um, I just haven't had the eye for, you know, making something out of it, but I'm, I'm sure there's really adorable things out there. I just need to kind of think a little bit more outside the box on the cans, but these definitely, I felt like, would make super cute firecrackers for your um, 4th of July table. Okay, then I went ahead and covered my seam and then went ahead and did one, another one down. Now, obviously, this is just trying to inspire you to kind of get out there and just craft and look at things a little bit differently. Save some things out of the landfill, but, you know, obviously you could make this your own with different things that you have um, at your home. Okay, and then this this little um, piece of fabric came from Dollar Tree. Um, I actually thought I might save this to Christmas, and I'm sure I got two of them, so I probably will put one back for Christmas because I think it's just screams Christmas to me as well. And so make sure when you're looking at your supplies, and there's that little placemat. Now, I tell you guys about this placemat every time we, I go to use it, and we use it a lot. This is out, um, from Hobby Lobby. It's in the spring section. Um, I did see it this year. I'm not really sure if all of the Hobby Lobbies um, have the same, but if you find this um, placemat, make sure you get it because it's made out of, like, paper, like... Um, it's almost like tissue paper, but it's thicker, and I absolutely love to use it for crafting, and you'll see why in just a minute. Went ahead and added a third one. It just kind of felt empty in the back right there, and so I just went ahead and added a third one there. How cute is that? I just love those little curlies. Okay, so back to the, the rice um it's like a rice paper, I guess, is what you would call it. So this is, we've used this several different times. So if you do see these, make sure you grab one and put it back. There's a lot of material this that you can craft with. And the, and the good thing about it is when you have it rolled together, um, it's pretty stiff. So it, it can make a lot of different, I made some snowman arms out of this. Um, we've done some things with pumpkins. Um, so we'll definitely be crafting with these for the rest of the year. So make sure you grab one of these at Hobby Lobby if you can find them. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and unrolled them and then tore them down the middle. Now you could cut it, obviously. I'm going to do make a bow out of this. And so I really it didn't really matter to me as far as, you know, it being straight or ripped or anything like that because it was going to be in a really messy bow. Okay, and then what I did is I just went ahead and put it together, and I want to show you that you can make a bow out of these and just do it just like that. You don't have to, um, we're not, I'm not going to leave mine like this, I'm going to redo this bow, but I wanted to give you some options on different ways that you can make a bow with this placemat um, paper. So all I'm doing is just folding these back and forth, 
And then all I'm gonna do is put them on top of the rice paper bow that I made. And y'all, it is so cute. All you would need to do is tie it and fluff it, but I'm gonna show you which one that I'm gonna do for this. Okay, so we're gonna make a fluffy, a, a messy bow, and you're going to just, now I did not measure this. This is probably about five and a half, maybe six inches, but obviously whatever container you decide to use, if you don't have a salt container, you're gonna to have to make your bow accordingly, and you can always trim it up you know, at the very end as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my um, making my bow like that, but we're not going to leave it as a bow. I'm going to show you what we're doing. So I'm going to take it like that, add my next one, and all you're doing is folding those back and forth. And I use three of these for this particular one. I believe it was three. Yeah. Okay. And then what I did is I went ahead and cut all the loops. Now I could have stretched these out and cut them, but because this stuff is so, um, it's very lightweight, it was just easier to fold it like I did and cut the loops. And then that way I know they're all pretty, pretty much the same, the same length. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay those down and we're gonna start making our bow. Now I've showed you guys how to make these before. They're super simple. We're just going to crisscross. Now the amount of the color that you use is totally you know, personal preference. You can use whichever. If you only wanted to use two, then go back to white. I believe I did four on each time that I changed color. So four of the white, four of the red, four of the white. You kind of get the idea. Um, and I'm gonna speed up the video just a little bit here so that way it's you know not so monotonous. But basically just literally back and forth, you're gonna just um, do your, your ribbon. And whatever colors, you can add a third color in here. You could add, I didn't wanna add any more of the stars on this one. Um, because I had so much blue going on, but you could definitely, if you didn't use um, the blue that I have, then you could definitely do red, white, and blue, and it would look really, really cute. Okay, then we're going to take just a piece of twine, and you're going to tie it super tight, and then this is like, you can go crazy with this, so the more you play with that white paper in that, that um, placemat there, the fluffier this bow gets. So you can continue to go on and on and on. And it's kind of fun. I will, I will admit. Um, but for time purposes here, we're going to move on. Okay. We're going to make a tag. And so we're going to take our paper towel roll, just like we've, we've done in the past. And I still get questions on how to, how, <coughs> excuse me, on how to do these. So I always want to just I didn't speed it up too much just so that you guys could get an idea. And then we're gonna use our alphabet stamps. You guys know I love these. If you want the link to these, they are on Amazon. I can uh, just you know put a comment in there and put you know stamps and uh, I'll get the link sent to you so that way you could check them out as well. Now this little um, ink pad right here, I got at Dollar Tree and then um, just going to head and dry that. Now you could put on there obviously anything that you wanted. Um, I just put boom, you know, because it was a firecracker, but you could definitely come up with some different, you know, sayings on there as well. Okay, then we're going to fold our twine and we're going to put it through the hole and then pull it through with the, the two ends. Y'all, this could not be any simpler, and as far as cost, I mean, there is literally, it does not have to cost a lot of money to decorate your table. Um, these just, this just comes out really, really cute, and like I said, you can 
do as many of them and place them together. And the Pringles can would be a really good one, like I was saying, um, because those are so tall. That would be really cute. The only thing with those is if you're going to, I know I used to do event planning, and with those, make sure, because they are tall, that you put some rocks in the bottom of your um, Pringles can before you put them on your tables because those will definitely blow over if you've got a good strong wind. Okay, then you're going to cut off your um, twine there. And then you're just going to hot glue. And again, you can play with this bow. as I, I mean, and, and I did. I, I cut a lot of this out of the video because um, I just kept messing with it. And like I said, the more that you play with that rice paper, it's almost like if your child ever did cheerleading and you know how they get those pom-poms and they're they're most of the time they're new when you get them and you have to like really make them super fluffy and you just keep playing with them this is similar to that the more you play with that white rice paper there the more it just you know kind of goes crazy but look how cute this is y'all thank you guys so much for being on my page i truly appreciate it um, make sure you pass it down the road for me, which means share, like, and comment. And again, if you want any of the links, just put stamps. And I will see you guys next time and have a wonderful weekend. You can visit southerncrossroadcreations.com or on YouTube. Thanks, guys.